Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I have a nice little tip for all of you Mac users out there. I'm playing around with my new MacBook Pro and I found a great app to help you remember all of the keyboard shortcuts you have on your computer and actually learn a whole bunch of new ones. So I use a ton of keyboard shortcuts. I know a lot of you out there do as well, but every time we get a new application, it comes with more new keyboard shortcuts. And sometimes if you don't use one for a while, you forget it. So how can we remember all of them or at least learn them as we go? And I wanna give credit where credit is due. So I found this website, it's actually called Pimp My Mac. It's MacTipBlog.com. It's a nice little blog where they're publishing a whole bunch of tips for using your MacBook Pro, your MacBook Air, any computer running OS X 10.7 or later for this one that I'm talking about today. But um, some of the other stuff on here could be for earlier editions of Mac as well. So you can see this is the website. But one thing I did find was this app called Cheat Sheet. And as you can see, it's for Mac OS 10.7 or later, so I believe that's Lion or later. I'm running Mavericks and it works awesome. Um, you just download it, install it. When you install it, it does need access to some of your accessibility features. So if we go in here, the app needs access to your accessibility features on your computer, but the setting isn't in accessibility, it's actually in security and privacy. So if you go into security and privacy, and you go to the privacy section, you can click on accessibility and grant cheat sheet access. And what it does is it makes it so that in any application you are then in, you can press and hold the command key, the Apple key. And when you do that, this list of all the available keyboard shortcuts pops up. So you can see I have all the keyboard shortcuts in the file menu, the edit menu, but also specifically the Chrome menu here. So let's say I was to enter a different application. Let's say I go into GIMP. This is the application that I use for a lot of my photo editing. So I go into GIMP, and it's a free application by the way. It's rivals Photoshop and it's free, so it's definitely worth checking out. And I hold that button here in GIMP, you'll notice that it pops up with all the shortcuts for GIMP. I can see all of the shortcuts in the tools menu. I can scroll down here if I need to. So whatever app I'm using, I can see every single shortcut. This app it just blows my mind. To me, this is awesome. This is going to make my usage of a Mac computer even faster than it already is. I didn't even know it could get faster. So definitely worth checking this app out and trying it. Um, I'm loving it so far. I loved it so much. I found it. I installed it, tested it out a little bit, and I was like, I have to put this on YouTube. This is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed as well. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you all today. It's Anson from AnsonAlex.com.